all right guys we are here at the next spot don't know if at all you guys will see any of what just happened but i tried new lake for a little bit forest lake got a couple gills and a really small bass and a fly rod it's really small only 22 acres and there was three other people there so you know i bounced i wasn't feeling it and nothing good was really happening quite honestly but beautiful day bluebird skies which could be interesting for fishing but i've just got a tiny little swim bait on i just feel like crushing fish for a little bit so i'm gonna go for a bunch of bass here early maybe get on some top water later uh we're gonna kind of mix it up we'll we'll go fly fishing for a little bit maybe go for some pike use some bigger worms i mean we're, we're just gonna kind of experiment with everything today and just kind of see how it plays out so stay tuned should be a fun little afternoon here and i'll get back to you guys when i'm on the water all right guys and as you can see here with this lake it is super clear i mean you can see all this stuff here and i can see with my polarized glasses probably 20 to 25 feet out but what we're gonna do here because of that is i love using braid and i know a lot of people do but the problem with that is it's great for top water but it's really easy for the bass to see especially if you're not using top water um so all we're gonna do here is i've got this little barrel swivel and i'm going to tie that up to the braid really quick now you can connect the two lines by a knot but i just think the barrel swivel is a lot easier all right so we have our barrel swivel tied up to the main line here next what we're going to do is i have some of this berkeley vanish uh this is 12 pound test and i like having a slightly heavier pound test on this i like 10 to 12 uh but eight can also work but you don't really want to go too much lighter and what this berkeley vanish is is it's fluorocarbon and so it is basically invisible in the water and so the fish don't see it all they see is your lure zipping past them and not the long line uh going in front of them so all i do here with this fluorocarbon is I am tying it to the barrel swivel now as well. So now, here we are, this is our connection here. We have the braid to the fluorocarbon. And so now what we're gonna do is, you know, when you're casting, you usually have about eight to nine inches of line out. So you don't wanna make it a super long leader because that barrel swivel will get stuck in the eyelids and it'll actually break you off. And so what you want to do is, you know, just take like a foot or so, maybe a tiny bit more, and uh, just cut the line there. And what you've basically just done is make a fluorocarbon leader. And now what's going to happen is you can use the braid on your rod and have it still be super sensitive and you can feel everything super well. But now the fish can't see your line. And I have done this a very good amount in the last year or so, because I was hearing good things about it, so I wanted to try it. And let me tell you what, guys, it really does make a big difference. I have outfished a number of people who are using the exact same thing, fishing the same spot, and casting like pretty close to each other and i catch probably 15 fish to their two to three it's especially good in heavily pressured places in clear water this place is not super pressured because it's kind of private but it is super clear water and that could be the difference between a big fish a big smart fish deciding if he wants to bite or not so guys really make sure if you're fishing a popular place or just clear water or just kind of in general it can't hurt to try this tip try tying up some fluorocarbon leaders i like the berkeley vanish but there's a few different kinds that are pretty good but berkeley vanish is my favorite and 10 to 12 pound make sure you tie it up and then on the very end there i just have my little glow pro micro fry and i'll kind of describe this bait a little bit more as we go here 
because it is just an overall great bait for a ton of different species. And I'll get into that more as once I get onto the water here. All right, guys, so this is the Glow Pro Micro Fry. I have it in this little minnow color, but I also really like the sharp truce with like a kind of pepper flake in it. But both of these work really well. They've got a ton of different colors. That little jig head almost acts as a darter jig. And so it's really erratic when you give it little twitches. But also, it's basically just a really small little paddle tail. And so that tiny little tail kicks super well. This is probably my favorite bait from this company. It is a great multi-species lure. I get a ton of bass in this, you know, bass vary in size, usually smaller ones, like around a couple pounds or so. You don't really get too many giant ones on this, but I've gotten a ton of nice crappies on this, perch. Even yesterday I was fishing with it and got a big bluegill that came after it and I ended up catching them on it. So really just a great overall multi-species lure and can catch you a ton of fish very quick. So definitely go check out Glow Pro if you haven't already. Made in Waukesha, so kind of locally made here in Wisconsin. Uh, pretty cool, cool stuff. They got a ton of different type of baits and uh, really cool company. There we go. Either a largemouth or a crappie. Oh no, it's a giant perch, giant perch. Woo, big old perch. This is what I'm talking about with that micro fry. I mean, anything eats little minnows. Look at the size of this nice perch. Awesome. There he goes. There's one. Yeah, on the fall. Nice large mouse. Man, he's fighting hard. Got him. Nice large mouth there. Probably just over a pound or so. There he goes, on the micro fry. There's one. Might be a crappie. Hit it pretty light. It is indeed a little crappie. Species, whoop, species number three for the micro fry. A little crappie. There's definitely some crappies out and about today. That one was definitely a crappie. I felt him tick it a few times beforehand and then he finally came back for it and nailed it. It's so hard to catch crappies casting because it's so easy to just pull the, pull the lure right through their mouth. There's one. Ooh, actually a nice bass. He hit super light. Might be one of the better ones of the day right there. So far anyways. Hopefully they get bigger, bigger than that, but nice one. That's a nice one there. Just barely tapped it. All I felt was just a tiny bit of weight. And he was on there. There we go. 
Yeah, just let them have it a little bit long. Oh my gosh, it's another giant perch. Man. Another big perch, guys. Wow. Probably another 10 inch or so. This doesn't really seem like there's much shallow. This one. Didn't even really know he was on there. Wow, nice fish. Nice fish. Got him. Wow, really nice healthy fish here. That's really what you're looking to see in a pond is a nice well fed beautiful fish. Nice fish. Let him go. Hit it on the drop. This feels good. This feels like a decent one. He's fighting hard at least. Oh yeah. Not a bad one at all. They get much bigger, but the average is honestly probably a little bit smaller than this. Oh I'll tell you what, the fish I'm catching today are just really healthy. That is definitely the biggest one of the day right there. Put them on the, I've got a little measuring board on my kayak here. I don't know how accurate it is, but he's almost 16 inches. So it's a nice fish there. There he goes. Get on the fall again. Nice fish, man. I, the quality of fish today has just been great. Wow, this fish is pulling. Holy cow. Might be a little bit better than what I thought he was. Oh yeah, real nice one. Oh, nice jump. He's hooked in a real nasty spot. I got him. Nice fish. Man, we just keep on upgrading our big for the day. forever another healthy bass man that has literally been like a couple of hours since i've gotten a fish guys i've hooked into a giant i've hooked into a giant he just jumped all the way out of the water he's going in this tree right here oh my god don't come off oh my god dude it's freaking huge oh my god he's barely over. Get, up, get here. God, the paddle was in the way. Oh my God. I set the hook. Oh. I set the hook on him really good. He was sitting in this tree. Oh my gosh, what a fish. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes! Woo! On the bandito bug. Oh my gosh, I turned off the camera. I didn't think I was catching anything else. I switched over to a, uh, what is it? A green pumpkin bandito bug. Oh my gosh, what an absolute stud of a fish. Today has just been awful, man. I have, I mean, this morning was good. I got on a late morning bite and 
This afternoon the fish had just shut down. I cast it right into this tree. Oh my god. With the bandito bug and I just go boom. Oh my. Look at that fish. Holy cow. That is a giant, giant bass. Wow. Just below 20, 19 and a half. Wow, I cast it right in that little slot of that tree right here in front of my knee. Like right in there. And uh, I let sit all the way down to the bottom. I fished this tree probably three or four times today without anything. I let that thing sit go down to the bottom and I just felt a big thud. I let him have it for a little bit and I ripped him on this little Fenwick spinning rod. I didn't even have a bait cast or anything, but what a fight. Wow. What a fish. Look at the size of that. Look at its big old mouth. I might just leave after that. Oh man. I've been looking for that bite all day. I've had probably four three pounders just pop right off by jumping next to the kayak. That one gave two big jumps. I turned the camera on right in time. I think you guys saw the second one. But uh, yeah, let me tell you what, it's been a grind out here. Basically, you know, we catch a lot of smaller fish in here, like all around pound and a half, two pounds. And that has not been the case today. Uh, this morning, got here kind of late because I went to Forest Lake first. About, I got here about 9.30 or so. I was reasonably fishing, got a good late morning bite. But, you know, I wasn't getting a ton of numbers, but the fish I were getting were around two pounds, and you guys saw that. And... I, I know you guys didn't see this, but I mean, I, I probably went two hours without a single bass. Or I switched to a bandito bug, which I've never really thrown here, but last time when I was here, I threw a beaver style bait for probably a minute and I got a couple fish on it. So I was like, yeah, might as well. I got nothing to lose. And green pumpkin bandito bug. I don't know. I was, wasn't too big of a fan before today, I, all I noticed is that the appendages kept on coming off. I've caught like six or seven fish on that today. But uh, none of them were nearly that big. I had another like three pounder jump off, but I'm gonna guess that one was probably around four and a half pounds. I'm gonna calculate that weight. And I